Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute fabric bow with rhinestone mesh down the middle, which gives it a nice touch. I think it came, came out so cute. It's about 5 inches wide, or 5 inches long, and I think it looks so perfect. If you put your hair in a bun, like to, to clip it to the bottom of the bun, on, on the under the bottom, or on the top or wherever you choose, or to use it to pin your bangs back or something. I think they're so cute. So. Let's get started on this tutorial. So the materials that you're going to need is, of course, a sewing machine. This sewing machine is called the Brother JX2517. Sorry, I have toddlers in the background, so hopefully you guys can hear that. It was the Brother JX2515. Um, you're also going to need a glue gun. You're going to need some scissors, fabric, uh, fabric strips, uh, a ruler, a lighter, Embroidery floss. You're also going to need a needle with embroidery floss, which I actually have in the other room. I need to go get it. So you just get a needle and you tie embroidery floss to it. I'll show it to you right now. Um, you're going to need some rhinestone mesh. I get. The, I got this at Michael's. It used to be a huge fat roll, but I'm almost out, so I need to go get some more. And of course, ribbon to line your alligator clip. You're going to need a lined alligator clip. So and a lighter. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, and here's my needle with the embroidery floss. So, hopefully my toddlers are not being too distracting in the background, so let's get this tutorial started. Okay, so you're going to first get your ruler and the fabric. Now, um, I got this pack here at Hobby Lobby. It was about $10. I used my 40% off coupon. But they have it like in the fabric section. It, they have several different colors, designs, um, you name it. it. They have like a lot of different stuff. They even have like, I think, little holiday ones too. I think I saw 4th of July and some Christmas ones too. So, anyway, so I got this. It just comes with five different colors with silver polka dots. I think it's so pretty. So, uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to cut your pieces out and you're also going to want to cut little strips, but um, it's up to you. You can use ribbon to tie off the center or uh, or you can use um, pieces of the fabric, which I think looks a lot better in my opinion, but it's up to you. So the, if you're going to use the little strips, um, they measure out to be three inches long and about an inch and a half wide. So you're going to need one strip per bow that you're going to make. And then the measurement for each piece that you're going to use is... It's 11 inches, um, or it's actually almost about 11 and a half inches long and 6 inches wide. So that's uh, for each piece that you're going to use for the bow. So after you cut all your pieces out, depending on how many bows you decide to make, um, then we're going to go ahead and get started. So, again, sorry for my toddler. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're gonna get now we're gonna get our sewing machine out. Okay, so <clears throat> mine already has creases, but if you want to, you can always iron iron it folded if you choose. But since mine was already folded, it already has a crease, so it's up to you. You don't really need to uh, iron it. But anyway, so uh, oh, I forgot to mention. Yes, you're also gonna need an iron as well. I think I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. You're going to need an iron as well, uh, so uh, what you do is you're going to fold it with the, the pretty side, the side with the pattern, on the inside you're going to fold it in half so that the, the ugly side is on the outside, and then we are going to sew the part that's open, we're going to sew it shut, we're going to sew this long ways, right here. So right now I just have plain white thread, it does not matter what color thread you use in your sewing machine because this part will not be seen, so go ahead and... Since these pieces are so short, you don't really need to pin it. If you choose to pin it, it's up to you. But I don't because they're not big pieces. So, so you just go ahead and start sewing. So you're going to want to sew it as close to the edge <clears throat> as possible. Hi, baby. My son loves to loves the sewing machine. Even when he's old enough, I'll teach him how to use it. <laughs> start them young. Okay, so now that you've got your piece sewn, we're going to, hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, I hope you guys were able to see all that. Anyway, 
So you're going to uh, flip it right side. looks like now and this is when we're going to use our iron because it's all wrinkly at first and also we want to get it pressed so that it's flat with the seam on the back so let's go ahead and do that okay so now that we're here with our iron uh, you're gonna want to lay it upside down so that the part that we had sewn is on the on the top and we're gonna put it you're gonna have it going down the, the middle so just go ahead and do that and then we are going to press it all the way down just like that so yeah the ends here don't need to be straight or even you can cut them if you choose to but um, there's no need because it's not going to be seen um, it's going to be in the back so yeah that's the next step so go ahead and do that okay so now what we're going to do is you're going to have it, have your strip facing up with the, the part that we had sewn uh, facing up and you're, you're going to want to fold it directly in half and make a crease here so that when you open it, there's a line um, right here. You're also going to need one of your little strip pieces. You're going to want, and you're going to need your needle with embroidery floss and on the end tie a knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold one end up and have it overlap that little crease a little bit and then take this side and fold it up as well and have it overlapping the crease also. So that way, I don't know if you can see, that way it looks like this, they're overlapping right over that crease. So now we're just going to do the accordion fold like we usually do for our bows. So we're gonna fold this up like that, fold it down, fold it back over, fold it down, and then fold it back up. So that way, it looks like this. And this is what the back looks like. It's just a simple accordion fold. Oops, so yeah. And then we're going to get our needle with embroidery floss and we're going to stick the needle. Here, I'll show you. Oops. We're going to slip it right here on the side. So go ahead and do that. And I like to press it carefully with your fingers because it is a needle. <laughs> I kind of messed up my accordion fold. So I'm going to do that again. There. Okay. I'm moving it around too much to kind of all messed up. Okay. So now I'm just going to slip it right through. So that way it's going through. Oops. Just like that. I'm going to want to push it all the way through. Like this. And we're going to wrap it around as tight as you can. Just like that. And then we're going to tie it off. Just like that. And then we're going to cut off the extra. And then there you go, you have your the bow part made. Gonna adjust the string a little bit. Okay. So there. Now we're going to put this piece down the center. So what I do is, um, since I want one of the polka dots to be right on the top in the center, which doesn't really matter because I'm putting I'm putting a rhinestone mesh anyway. Uh, but I just want it there. Just I don't know, just for cute purposes. Okay, so we're going to fold it in three. So we're going to fold it up like this towards the center, and we're going to fold it back like that. So that way the front looks like this. 
And now we're going to get our glue gun. We're gonna add a dot of glue right to the top. Place this right on top like that. Don't let it go. Just place it right on top like that. Pinch the sides, hold the sides like this. Cut off any extra. You're gonna want it to the length. You're gonna want it the length to where you can fold this back here. So you can, at this point, if you're gonna use a French Brit, I would go ahead and put the French Brit down or headband or a hair tie or whatever you're gonna put. Go ahead and put that down uh, and then um, then you glue these pieces down right here. But I'm just using an alligator clip and the alligator clips for me always stay on very well. I don't usually need to glue it any other or tie it with anything else. So but yeah, just go ahead and add a little dot of glue right here. Fold it in, hold it down for a few seconds, and then go ahead and do the other side. And fold it down. Hold it down for a few seconds. So it just looks like that. And then also you can, since that part's coming up a little bit, please be careful with the glue gun because it is hot. My fingers are used to it, so I, can, I usually touch the glue. So yeah. And then you just get your alligator clip. I do have a tutorial which I'll link below on how to line alligator clips and I also have a tutorial on this gripper that I put on the inside. So I'll also link that down in the description. So you guys can go ahead and watch those tutorials if you need a tutorial on how to line alligator clips. So, so yeah, so what I do to add the clip on is I'll just add a little bit of glue. You can put a little piece of felt. For some reason my glue is very, very strong. I don't. Some people their glue isn't. But my glue seems to be very strong, so um, I don't really need... Once I put it on, it, I seriously have the hardest time taking it off. I have made mistakes in the past where somebody says that they, don't, they didn't want an alligator clip, they wanted something else, so I didn't want to have to remake the whole bow, but I could not for the life of me take the clip off, so... So yeah, um, that's just how I put mine on. Uh, but you can add a little piece of felt, because felt usually holds things together a lot stronger with the glue, so, but it's up to you. So yeah, that's what I do. So there you go, there's a cute uh, little fabric bow, and it measures out to be about five inches wide, five inches long, So, and I think this is just so cute, especially if you put your hair up like in a bun, and then you clip this to the bottom or the top of the bun, it just looks so adorable, I think it looks so cute. Or you can use this to, to pin your little girl's bangs back and stuff, I just think it's so cute. So. Okay, so now we're going to add the rhinestone mesh, which this is just like a little strip of it, like I showed you at the beginning, it comes on that big roll. So I'm going to measure out the amount I need. Uh, it's seven little rhinestones in a row for the amount that I need, and then two side to side. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just cut it right there. And then I'm going to get my lighter, and I'm going to, I don't know if you can tell, but the rhinestone mesh has like little pieces of string that hangs up the sides. And it looks kind of tacky, so it's good to just quickly run the lighter along the side just to get rid of them. Don't leave it on too long because it will melt the rhinestones. So, so it just cleans it up a little bit to make it look nicer. So like that. Now we're going to get our bow and we're going to add a thin layer of hot glue right here to the top. And then we're going to, right in the middle, place the rhinestone mesh. And you, you don't have to use your fingers to press it down, you can use something else. But my fingers are used to the, the hot glue, so. So you're just gonna do it just like that. And then I like to turn it over and then I'll add glue to the back of the rhinestones, just a thin layer, not too much. And then go ahead and press it. Again, you don't have to use your fingers, you can use something else. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And press it. So, there you go. So, it looks really pretty. You don't have to add rhinestone. You can add, uh, <clears throat> like, a button or some sort of embellishment or something to the center. Or you can just leave it just the way it was without anything. But I think since the polka dots are silver, it just adds a nice touch. 
to the to the bow so comes out really cute yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial